So we're here. We're here. Uh, uh, presumably I'm defending because he's got the top grip, right? What I need to do is I need to convince him that I'm going to make a hip throw. So I need to, right now he's not convinced. Do you see that? He's not convinced. He's not convinced. Well, he's not convinced and I do a hip throw. You know, you got to, you got to convince him. Yeah, there we go. Now, now he's convinced. There we go. You see that? Did you? So, and when you're practicing, right? Maybe practicing. But he knows what, that you're going to practice this throw. And by the way, the throw we're doing, uh, we're going to call it Yoko Guruma. Some people call it Yoko Wakare, but doesn't matter what the name is. And basically the idea is that you're going to lay in front and you're going to roll him over to this side. That's the idea. There's a many, many throws in that with the same idea. One throw, for example, is that, let's say he gets a grip, I rip off that grip, I go under the hip, and that's it. Okay? It looks different, but same idea. I make a long video on purpose, so we get a lot of time. <laughs> so, look, same idea. He gets a grip, maybe I take it off. Get under. It's not about twisting the arm. It's the same idea as that I'm, I'm gonna fall. I can twist the arm, or I can also push the arm here. But I'm gonna fall under it. Okay? Boom. Yoko Wakare, uh, Yoko Garuma, same idea. Yoko means side, Garuma means wheel. Uh, maybe I'm here. Okay, I'm setting up for my Tsumigaishi. From here, all right, I can do Tsumigaishi, right? I can also do uh, Yoko Garuma. Okay? You see, I fall in front of him. Different grip though, right? No, a lot of stuff, but it's good to connect the dots. Different grip. From this grip, look, this grip. I don't have to go in front. I don't have to fall in front and do a yoko groom. I can do a reverse yoko groom. So instead of falling in front, I fall on the back. Boom. Same concept. Look. You don't always get that grip, but you try. As is you're fighting, you rip it off, you pull them in. Very nice grip, they call it Russian grip. From this grip, I love to make a issue. Okay? If I can only get that grip we're fighting, I rip it off. I get this grip deep inside. He thinks I'm gonna do it to make he defends. I do reverse Yokokuruma. I lay parallel to him, I throw him back. I do a, he thinks I'm gonna go back, I, I, I do this, I, I mess with him. He doesn't know what I'm gonna do. I go front. Okay, that's the key. You always keep him. Now that we practice this grip, now we practice some other grips. Let's say I get this grip, right? That's a different now. It's not this nice grip. It's here. I'm gonna try to get him moving. I'm gonna try to get him moving. Look, my favorite step right here. Get him moving. Maybe, he doesn't know what's coming. As I get him moving, maybe I throw him back. Look. I get him moving, throw him this way. Uh, what's it called, sensei? Uh, Sasai. Sasai. Right, well, he's a groom. Right, I get a top grip. I get him moving, as he's moving, boom. Okay, I get him moving, he make it stop. Oh, shit. Okay, get him, get him scared first. Get him moving, and then watch. I go, same idea, but I go between his legs. Boom. Sorry, sister. Okay. Let's say he tries to make a, a Nippon Sai Nagi. Same idea. I fall in front. Again, Nippon Sai Nagi here. I'm gonna go and fall in front of him, putting my leg, my foot between his legs. One more time. I'm gonna go a little faster. Uh, yeah, one time. Right? Mate. Now, uh, 